Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you that are new here or been watching me for a while, please like, share, and subscribe. Liking is a great way to just energetically support me. Um, so I appreciate it. And I will have my email down below for if you want personal readings. As well as I'm going to start putting my cash app for donations. And eventually when I figure it out and have time, um, I'm going to start putting up a wish list for like cards and everything. Because there's so many decks that I want. Like so many. It's ridiculous. Um, but you know, the decks will help me... Um, give a more broad and in-depth per, you know, um, look into things and they just really help. I mean, I've got four decks, five in front of me right now. So I mean, I just like having different ones that help you look into different things. So anyways, this reading is going to be about for all signs and timeless. And this is going to be about like your career about your money like what is coming towards you what kind of blockages do you need to remove to be able to make more money to be able to get that desired job and all that so let's dive in oh what spirit does my collective have coming towards them in the near future for their for their pentacles for their money for their money Two of Wands. Tell me, Spirit. The deck is talking. Oh, I forget to show you guys. Princess of Pentacles. Okay. Got some Pentacles out here. Two of Wands was the first one. I just forgot to pick it up. Okay. What does my collective have coming towards them as far as money? What do they need to know to be able to make more money? Okay. Oh, God, I keep doing this. Three of Swords. Four of Wands. Will of Fortune. Give me three more, Spirit. Give me three more. What does my collective need to know? Or oh, what is coming towards them as far as money? their job situation what does my collective have come towards them or what do they need to know okay give me one more spirit nine of cups hell yeah everyone likes that card this is a badass card all right so ooh, and the emperor bottom of the deck okay all right we will take it because that's some king status. I mean, all the kings combined right there, whether you're male or female, because um, when you're acting in your masculine energy, if you are a female, then that's when, like, you know, you, you, you stack in, you're stacking your money. All right. So two of wands. I already love that because, like, if you look right here, it's it's like a path. It's a road. Like, and you're, you're, there ain't nothing else going on here. So you're on the right path. So... Princess of Pentacles um, would be like the same thing, let's see, of the Knight. Let me see, make sure. So the Knight of Pentacles or the, they have a lot of females in this deck, which I absolutely love, but I'm trying to make sure I'm not getting all confused over here. I don't want to mess it up. Mess up the message. But I get that. Darn it. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. I do love this deck because there's so many females in it. Okay. Okay. So you do have either a stable job or opportunity coming your way or being stable in your own life will help you get the stable job that you want three of swords um 
what I'm getting from the Three of Swords card is like you really need to pay attention to the people around you or in your environment because I'm sorry, but it's true. You are the company you keep, okay? If there are people in your environment pulling you down or not helping, not supporting you um, or fake supporting you and sending you negative energy and don't really want you to get out of your situation, then they're not helping you, okay? So what I really get from the Three of Swords is um, it's like the heartbreak card if you was to be talking about relationships or and stuff like that but um or third parties and but what i'm getting here in this certain situation is like third parties that would be interfering with your success you know if your head's all fucked up you know and you're thinking about other shit all the time you cannot focus on your money or when you are at work you're not going to do your best job okay so and then next is the four of wands okay so stability like Right here with the Princess of Pentacles and um, Four of Wands is all about stability. So, and again, it's also about union, like coming into union with your path, coming into union with your money. Um, Wheel of Fortune. So again, like with the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, it's if you're not already starting to make more money, you will. Like, as long as you stay on this path, as long as you make sure people aren't dragging you down. Because I do see that as one of the blockages or something that you got to keep your eye on. Uh, Queen of Cups is that um, you are working on being more like emotionally fulfilling yourself. So through doing that and through keep doing like self-care and self-love when you go to start your business or when you go to interviews people are going to see this okay so this is really important when you love yourself and when you um i don't i don't know exactly why i'm getting um this but spirit just told me like when you love yourself and when you like pray so you can pray to whatever you know um god doesn't really care it can be um I pray to different gods and goddesses. It's really cool to embody their energy and bring their energy into your world and um, to get strength from it, you know? So I really feel like what Spirit's telling me here is, you know, when you do that, when you pray uh, to be confident and when you pray to heal yourself and you pray to um, stand in your truth and your power, that changes your aura. That changes things that are around you. So when you go into an interview and um, or you're starting your own business, it's going to change the way people see you. And Eight of Wands, like with the Eight of Wands here and the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands, like it's happening. It's really happening for you. You're doing good. And Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So it's just like stay on this track. Watch out for people trying to drag you down. Okay, like the more successful you get, you're going to get tested, okay? You're going to get tested. And there's going to be people that you've known all your life and sometimes, because sometimes it's family, um, that don't want to see you doing better than them. People don't know how to take that, especially if they don't know how to get themselves out of their own hole. Misery loves company and that shit's real. Okay, this is awesome. And with the emperor bottom of the deck... Like, you keep going on this path. You tell these motherfuckers to kick rocks. Um, you praying. You embodying energies uh, um, that make you feel powerful like a god or a goddess. You standing in your god or goddess power. Like, you got it. You got it. Like, you're going to be in this. The emperor status. Making your money. Being the shit. So, I'm going to clarify. I'm excited about this reading if you can't tell. A badass reading. And I'm a Capricorn, so like the business, the money sector is like my thing. Like, I mean, being financially stable changes your reality. Like, do you need money to be happy? That's absolutely not. Like, no, you do not, but it helps. You know, like it helps. Do not let money drive you, but if you can make lots of money doing what you love, God will bless you. If you're, if you're 
doing what you love and you're embodying like self-love, God's going to bless you. And one of the ways that God can bless you is with money, with pentacles. One of my favorite things. Okay. So let's see. Clarify this will of fortune. Clarify this will of fortune. I so traded these out. I was like, hold on, that was not up here. Okay, sorry. Clarify two of wands. Clarify. Nine of cups. Oh my God, the nine of cups is out here twice. Like, I fucking love it. Okay. So, hmm. And the Knight of Wands is bottom of the deck. So just look out for distractions. People that, or like, you know, um, people that are going to be in and out of your life trying to distract you from paying attention to your past, paying attention to what could make you a lot of money. I'm telling you, like, relationships, uh, not, not all relationships, but like the... Um, unhealthy relationships will drag you farther away from your money. It will because you're not going to be focused. You're not going to be doing your best. You're not going to be believing in yourself if someone's over here in the night of uh, night, night of energy, night of wands energy coming in and out of your life. You think you focus in at work? You think you're putting your best effort out there in your business? No. No, you're not. Okay. So these people that can't be in your life all the time and be real with it to kick rocks. I'm telling you. Okay. Believe me. It, it changed your life. Okay. Two of wands, nine of cups. So like you stay on this path right here. Okay. Don't go wandering off in the dark. Stay on this path and you're going to have wish fulfillment. You're going to have a lot of money coming to you. My collective, is you're coming across this video for a reason. You're on the verge of, and you might have already started making more money. And this is just a reminder to like not get sidetracked. Because the only blockage I see here is, look at this, is the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords, okay? Someone getting your head all fucked up with like cheating and third like they don't want to commit they're non-committal they love you one day the next day they don't fucking know and you're over here trying to stay focused but you can't okay like nah oh, i gotta let that shit ride let that shit ride okay princess uh pinnacles clarify the some of y'all stuffy because i just got stuffy like during this read. <laughs> I can't breathe. All right. Clarify the Princess of Pentacles. Holy shit. Okay. Ace of Swords. Oh, the devil. The devil. It's okay to act in your devil energy sometimes. Page of Pentacles. Dang. All right. All right. So again, Ace of Swords. Uh, I'm a clarifying the prince s of pentacles with the uh, devil which is shadow dance in this deck and the uh, page of pentacles so like i'm saying just watch out watch out for people look look look, look. i'm being serious guys hold on y'all think i'm playing all right i see this two different ways too because you know like sometimes people just i'm not, I'm not sugarcoating it you know what i mean like if you come in with the fuckery i'm a let you know what's up, okay? Be coming over here with all that bullshit, trying to sidetrack me from what the fuck I'm doing. All right, so Ace of Swords, like, stand in your truth like it's shit. Tell people what it is. Like, nah, I'm focusing on me. I'm good. Um, So, the devil card. Uh, I see it two different ways. Like, one way, you can act in your, like, you know, um, your devil energy and be like, look, I'm no, I'm not dealing with none of that shit. Like, I'm not dealing with, look, look at this. Not, you think I'm going to be over here looking stupid while you doing all this with other people trying to get me unfocused on my money? Like, I ain't even, can't even work, can't even focus on work, can't even open my business, you know? Like, because you got my mind fucked up. And, um, that, you know, uh, with a page of pinnacles, it's like, you're going to have to really, um, bring out your creative side, your, um, childlike, you know, like your creative childlike playful. And if you're over here, get mixed up with people trying to sidetrack you off 
your money, you ain't going to be childlike. You're going to be mad. You're going to be up in your head. You're going to be upset. So right here, like with the Princess of Pentacles, like that's your only blockage. This is your only blockage is to not let people get you up in your head about the fuckery and, and not being focused. Okay. Like having it affect your job. Don't have it affect your job or that business you want to open or I'm telling you, because if you're in a bad mood and you're not feeling good about yourself because other people are, you know, aren't giving you the energy you deserve, then you're not going to do the best at your job. You you ain't even going to open the business. You're just going to be over there talking about it. Okay? Talking about it ain't going to get you nowhere. Like, that's great. You can talk about it. You can discuss it when you're going to put it into a plan. Okay? You got you to gotta start that planning. Um... Just like I tell people all the time, I had to learn this for myself. Like, you can pray all the time, okay? And, go, oh, God will just drop blessings in your lap sometimes. I can't, I, I can't just sit here and say that that won't happen. But if there is, most of the time, there are things that you have to learn, that you have to stand in your power and, and grow in order to receive that blessing. So... God isn't going to just drop in your life. It's waiting for you to take the action, okay? When you love yourself, you take action. You have discipline. Um, you you start to rewrite habits, you know, like to good habits. Okay. Clarify this three of swords. Ace of wands and king of wands. All right. So I feel like what you're on the verge of either getting a job in or a business that you're starting is really creative and really passionate, okay? And with it being the three of swords, um, again, clarifying, don't let passion, okay? <laughs> don't let these fuck boys and fuck girls, I'm telling you, get you off track, okay? All this passion, eh, passionate yourself, okay? It ain't that hard. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm... But... So it's just two ways. Like with it being clarifying the three of swords, it really is. Like don't let people come in and just be passionate with you and and get you sidetracked and, and fuck with how you feel about yourself, okay? Because, you know, when people come in all passionate, it don't mean they're going to stay. All right. Uh, and on another note, though, your new endeavor is going to, like, going to be passionate going to uh be creative that's what you're being called to do like something that you feel passionate about whatever that is it ain't gotta matter to nobody else it only gotta matter to you and it ain't gonna make sense to nobody else okay because you'll find your soul tribe you'll find your people you'll find them okay clarify the four of wands for the collective for the mondays six of pentacles Okay, so any partnerships you get into, make sure it's equal give and take. And, oh, Lord have mercy. Knight of Wands. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's like so much of the overall energy, okay? I can't help it. I just, oh, God, and four cups. Whoever this energy is in your life trying to drag you down, like, by the damn neck, tell them to go away. <laughs> Like, it, Knight of Wands. Like, it keeps coming up. Like, it just get. You need balance. You got to stay balanced. Your, your whole blockage right now is just... People wanting to play games. Like, maybe even, like, you know... Maybe these are people that are even trying to entertain you business-wise. Oh, we can start a business together. But you know they ain't shit. You know that they don't come through on regular shit. How are they going to do a business with you? Huh? They, they ain't coming through on regular shit. So you need, like, you got to have partnerships that are balanced. You got to make sure that don't even share your business ideas with someone you don't, you know, don't got their life together or aren't even trying. Like, if you try and you're putting effort and you see them make it headway, cool. But, like, yeah, I'm really getting a strong energy that there's somebody here that's even talking you up as far as like business plans and business ideas, okay? And they are not, they're, they're going to be, they ain't going to be showing up to find nothing. They're not going to help you with nothing. Uh, no, no, watch out. That's a test. That's a blockage. Okay. 
Wheel of Fortune. And I keep saying like business owner too, because like I feel like really struggling in collective. There's people that's wanting to like open businesses, work for yourself, um, entrepreneur. And if not, that's awesome too. It's just getting a promotion, you know, um, applying at jobs. Uh, clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Oh Lord, so many came out. I don't know if I can take that many. Whoa. Damn, temperance came out, which is balance. Gotta get some balance in there. All right, let, let me see. Look, this is so many. Spirit, I'm, I, I'm gonna put these back, okay? I'll put it back. All right. Clarify Wheel of Fortune for me for the business sector, for the business sector. Oh, God, so lot. Spirit want to tell you the high priestess. Ooh, follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. There are people that will really help you right now. And there are people that will not pay attention. Pray to whoever. Uh, oh, my God. Four came out for Will of Fortune. So, yeah, this is a strong message. Before that, it was like eight that came out. Okay. So, Three of Swords. Again, that's the second Three of Swords. All right. So, for the in order for things to move forward, you're going to have to heal your heart. Okay. You're going to have to heal your heart. Sometimes you can't. You can't have that business. You can't bring in that money because you're you're not vibrating at a level like people. Um, I mean, people see that when you're vibrating low, like people aren't as drawn to you. You know, not not the good people, not the people you need in your life. You know, um, they're not. It, it's we're all vibrating, and if you're low, the good things are not going to come to you. Ten of Pentacles, though. Fix this. Fix your heart. Okay, fix your heart chakra, do the chakra meditations, um, tell those people that just constantly bringing you down to go, they gotta go, because Ten of Pentacles is right here, okay, you're gonna be making big time money, I'm talking change your whole life type of money, and then not even that, like Ten of Pentacles can also, I mean, this guy got the, got the money, so I, I'm getting like money, 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 but if to you, like, you know, you want a family, you want kids, you want that whole happiness and some money. Uh, heal that heart. Heal it. All right. Oh, my God. Sorry. I'm really stuffy. Is one of y'all sick? <laughs> one of y'all sick? <laughs> Swear to God. Put in the comments, okay? Because I did not have a stuffy nose before I started this. Uh, <laughs> I'm over here. Can't breathe. Um, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Okay, I did not even realize that. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Like, okay, so tens are also like that total completion. Like you, once you heal your heart and once you start believing in yourself, you you showing yourself self-love and you, you telling people to go that aren't supposed to be in your life. Uh, it's all here. Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, money uh stability oh it's here it's ready it's this is an awesome reading guys like it i'm telling you i'm when i say around the corner i'm talking like it could be so soon so soon like the sooner you work on healing your heart the sooner you work on like getting rid of the baggage these people oh look ace of cups oh my god like i'm so excited about some of the cards in my hands i ain't even realizing the other cards that are in my hands ace of cups so like this is gonna be new. This is you got new look. So you know what? You know what? I'm really getting whoever this little flighty person in your life or business partner or whoever that's like it might be a lover and a partner, like, oh, we can do it all, and then they gone. Or that they, they losing their jobs left and right, like, how you gonna help me? You ain't even helping yourself. Um, but Ace of Cups, like you're going to have a new emotional fulfillment coming, like, or love. Ooh. Love. I think it's love. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. But you got high priestess here, bomb and dad. You got to follow that intuition. Meditate. I'm telling you, meditate and pray. It changed my whole life. The times that, uh, like I said, that I've gotten off track or whatever, I was not. Praying and meditating, you cannot, like, that's how you connect to source energy and can get your messages clearly, okay? All right, tell me more about the Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups for my collective on the career. 
career, money, success chapter. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Why is this Queen of Cups here? Three of Cups in reverse. All right, you just, well, y'all, I'm just being serious. Like, you see them, okay? They're hanging out, they're drinking, well, which is cool, all right? But they got to be good people, okay? You're going to have to cut out some people that they ain't no good for you, or at least limited, like, to a very, no, I'm getting cut out. Just cut them out. Just cut them out. It, it, because some people ain't going to take no for an answer. You hang out with them one time. Then they they, they going to want to hang out again. They going to want to hang out again. They going to want to be together. Whatever. No. Just snip, snip. Let them go. Let them go. Okay. Eight of wands. Eight of wands. Okay. King of pentacles. So, eight of wands is forward movement. King of Pentacles is all about stability and money. Money. Look. Male or female, look. Like, he's taking care of his babies. She's taking care of her babies. Got that shit. Hell yeah. I'm happy for y'all. All right. <laughs> nine of Cups. All right. Clarify Nine of Cups. Clarify Nine of Cups for my collective. All right. Two of Wands. Isn't that what? I'm guys. Again, Two of Wands was the very first card. Then Two of Wands again with the Nine of Cups. And just stay, stay on path. And also, you know what? Like you got okay. So to raise your vibrations is having fun too. Having fun with the right people. Okay, I'm sorry. It's like the overall energy. Yeah, it's got to be the right people. But like Two of Wands, like it's got two little fairy. You know the fairies on there. They're young though. Like you've got to oh. You got to heal inner childhood wounds, but not only that, um, like be more childlike, have fun, laugh more, go like the people that you sincerely know for sure, like you know God has showed you that are in your life for the right reasons, or go find other people and have good times with them. Like ha it raises your vibration. Go out and celebrate. Being alive is a reason to celebrate. I don't care. I don't know that. Is one of y'all's bags hurt too? I'm really feeling y'all's energy strong. Not just back hurt, no stuffing. I mean, you got money coming in though. You got you're doing your shit. Oh, my back hurts. My back hurts. Maybe I'm just blaming that on y'all. I did work at twelve. Okay. All right. I got it going on for real. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to use the Timing Oracle from Psychic Star. There's so many decks I want on Etsy. Like, this is from Etsy. And they just got, like, I mean, so many specialized decks that just break things down for you and give you answers. Okay. What do you have for my collective for career? Career money six months from now. Ha! Ah. In a couple of days. Ooh. Okay. A couple of days you could be getting good news. Or in a couple of days you're going to start feeling more motivated to, to, to do some of the work that you got to do to bring this in. If it ain't already in the motion. But six months from now you put in the work like you are right now. And I'm telling you. Like, and you're going to see it gradually over the six months, but six months from now, you're going to be in a whole nother tax bracket. I'm sorry. I'm feeling it. I'm not just talking about a little bit. I think your whole life is going to change. You do this work. Spirit is ready to reward you. I'm talking different tax bracket. Uh, not worrying about your bills at all. Um, uh, money in the bank, money in savings, like all that all that like this ain't just low this was not a low-key reading of where you just you find a good job this is either going to be a job that drastically changes your life or this is going to be a business that drastically changes your life and changes others and that's the beauty in it all okay oh i do want to get some advice though okay from my angels and ancestors deck love this deck love it love it and um i've been using it almost every reading probably every reading and i'm sorry but like the messages are so beautiful and this is 
sorry about that and this is straight from your angels and ancestors so give my collective some insight y'all all right I, they really do want to help you like do this i'm, I'm not going to keep all these but because it's like 10 oh my god okay my back i need a massage I'm over here complaining like an old person, like my back. All right. Okay. Spirit, ancestors. We're, oh gosh, this is out here. They're, oh yeah, like 20 came out, guys. Like they really want to help you. I'm talking your ancestors and spirit team. They're ready for you to have this. They feel like you deserve this. They, they're ready. I mean, maybe you've had a harder life. You know what I mean? They're ready for you to get your blessings. They want you to get your blessings. Oh. Okay, let's see what they guys say. Okay, what advice do you have for the collective as far as their money and business? Two came out, like, even with that. Um, Earth guardians stay rooted and grounded. Like, how many times did I say, like, to meditate? You know what I mean? Like, meditate. Yes. meditate like it changes your life praying on top of that like praying barely a day goes by that i don't pray just because it's changed my life so much like and sometimes i'll pray more than once a day like it the best conversation you can have is is with your spirit guides and your angels and the divine and learn like look up energies that you want to embody like if you're female look up goddesses you know just to embody the energy that they have or like if you're a guy there's gods look into them like just to embody the type of energy that they have um the other one is drood hold the space so hold the space like maybe you need to spend some time um by yourself a little bit to like really figure out what you need to heal like what you need to work on or even just like to again like meditate love on yourself you know like do do things that make you feel loved this was a beautiful reading guys uh please let me know if it resonated down in the comments below i like i'm so excited about this reading bye guys thank you